So finally, hands on with Android 14. It's developer preview one and kind of unfortunate things. I mean, it's not that much great, which I was expecting, but it's here. And I'm here to show you which are the things included, which are the new changes, what's new and everything in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end, which are the things added and everything I'll talk about. And make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel. First change is Android version, of course, it's Android 14. And you can see this is not written as Android 14. It's written as Upside Down Cake, which is actually a code name of Android 14. And it was same with the previous Android 13 cases. In developer previews, they were giving you that same code name. So in the terms of this Easter egg, which is still Android 13, which was kind of expected with the release of beta updates, you might see the Android 14 Easter egg, but for now it's Android 13 only. Another change is if you move on to the quick settings panel, you can see the clock style or clock size is actually changed. It's not like that in Android 12 as far as I know. Let me check it out in my Android 12 base custom room. It's not like that. It's a bit different and it's now changed with Android 13. It's Android 14. As you can see with Android 13, it's different with Android 14. The clock size is a bit changed, which is just okay. One of the biggest change or actually one of my favorite changes is this battery usage. Now you can see the usage from the last full charge instead of 24 hours. If you're already using a custom home, you already know that you can simply tweak that very easily. But if you're using stock one, finally with the stock devices, you will be able to see the battery usage from the last full charge, which actually seems better. One more thing is, which I found, if you move on to this edit option, you will be able to quickly reset these tiles. Of course, the option was there, but with the three dots, which was available with Android 13 or Android 12, there were three dots available. When you click or open that, then you will be able to see the reset option. But with Android 14, it is simply written there without opening any other options. Another interesting change is this fast pair option, which was not added previously with this update with Android 14. This time this option is present called fast pair and it is available in connection preferences. So if you move settings, moving on to this pair options and then you will see this fast pair option and you can see that. Another change is in the security and privacy options and this is a new UI. You can see review settings, app security is there, device log, Google security checkup and other things. Things are basically same. No new thing is added, just the UI is bit changed. You can see updates and also the privacy dashboard etc is already included with this update. And I mean here there is this location and this is the new thing called Health Connect. As far as I know it was not available with Android 13 so it's available with Android 14 this is one of the changes which is included with android 14 developer preview one as it is developer preview one let's hope that they will give you some other things with that with developer preview two or else another change is in the multiple users now you have the option to allow guest to use phone and then even the call history will be shared with that guest user so this also seems quite good, quite interesting one. You can use this thing if you want to. And if you are already using a Pixel device, you might already got Android 14 as an option. Another change is if you move on to developer options, you will be able to see this disable child process restriction, which was not available previously. And it's now available here. It also has a predictive back animation, which is by default hidden, which is by default not working. But here it is available and it is working perfectly fine. You need to turn on this option from developer options and done. And it's quite good. If you, if you simply enable this option, then you can see in some cases it's working. For example, with the calculator app, it's working perfectly fine. If you move on to this calculator app, you can see it's working fine. This actually looks quite interesting and quite good. And uh, these were the changes. I just wanted to let you know I found a lot of changes in Android 14 so far. I have already shared all these features with you. All the other things are just basically same. All the Android 13 features are already present. You can see just same kind of options available here and there. Of course, there are no major changes. I mean, no UI revamped. It is not a big Android update. Update. I'm, at least I was expecting this, but unfortunately, it's not there. As I'm using a ported ROM in a Mi 11X, it's available for a Redmi, a Redmi K40, Poco F3, Mi 11X, and also it's available for some other devices as far as you know, as far as I know. And also, you can try out GSI if you want to. Link for that GSI build is already available in the description. Install the GSI and how to install GSI it's totally up to you so this is about my this today's video about android 14 developer pv1 let's see which other new things will be included with the new update thanks for watching goodbye